hello friends welcome back to my new video today we'll see about analysis of nirf ranking data 2021 which has been published recently so we are going to pull engineering institute data in google sheet then we'll see about number of colleges in each state and then we are also going to sort out states having a uh, higher number of colleges next we also prepared sheet where we select a state and accordingly the engineering institutes which are there in that state will automatically displayed and here you can see number of engineering institutes in that particular state i select some other state it's accordingly the data will be populated this is what we'll see today first let us understand use of import html function which is provided by google sheet this is one web page about uh, demographics of india which has number of tables available so let us use import html and specify the url of this web page the second parameter is about query so our query is for table and then we specify the index as 1 we can see we are able to get this information about demographics of india so which is there as the first table on this web page same way we can see other tables are available so this is uh, table number 2 then we have table number 3 4 and 5 right so this is table number 3 is 4 and 5 so let us try to fetch data from this table number 5 in google sheet so i replace this table number 1 to 5 as yes, we can see this is the data that we are able to fetch from this web page that is this table so in this way we can use import html to fetch data from any table so this we are going to use in fetching nirf rankings data so this is home page of nirfindia.org so there we go to this ranking and we click on this 2021 so this is india rankings 2021 under different categories we select engineering categories right so this is the url for engineering ranking and we can see number of colleges right so let us try to fetch this information so let us select copy this url and we are going to write it here i have already written function so i have deleted it now i'll write it again so we'll see that how the data gets fetched in our sheet So we use import html we specified the url and our query is for table and table number 1 so if i hit enter key right so it's fetching data of around 200 colleges right so is fetching information from this web page and also from the second tab okay now let us come back to our google sheet now next what we want to understand is how many colleges in each state are there in the rankings what we have done is 
in this institute data we have this state information in column number d so you can see the states state names get repeated so first step we are going to uniquely find out unique states so for that we have written you can see this formula unique of engineering tab and from d2 to d because d1 is our header we start from d2 and we go to the last record and we uniquely find out the record information so we are able to get this names of all the states which are there in the data now to get how many colleges are there in that particular state we are using count if and see we are using count if and we specify our data range as uh, d column in engineering tab we match if the value of that cell is matching with uh, b2 is this cell right so that will basically show you the count right and then we copy paste that formula for all the states so in this way we can get number of colleges in each state we also prepared a sheet where you select name of state and accordingly institutes of that state will be displayed so let us select some state so we can see that there are 36 colleges which are there in the rankings so what we have done is here we have done data validation using data validation and the list is taken from uh, this range b2 to b from the engineering state tab which is here taking from this one and here we have applied formula where you can see it we are selecting from so we use this uh, query function where we specify first as the uh, data so our data is engineering tab and a1 to f where f is the last column of our data so within that data we select all the data where uh, column D value which is actually uh, column for state is matching with C1 that and here we use concatenation to and to enclose the value of state as a string so let us see this C1 is the selected state so within this uh, uh, we can uh, get names of all the states now once we get that state information we are counting how many colleges are there so there we have used simply count a we are count we are counting all the non empty records this column d so which will give us number of colleges in that particular state so we can see it for other states assam there are four colleges in gujarat there are six colleges Karnataka there are 19 colleges okay, so this kind of analysis we had done earlier also for world university ranking so you can see information about that in our previous video link you can find in top right corner but let us add one more thing to analysis so here you can see we are able to list out the names of the states having uh, more colleges at top and minimum number of colleges at bottom so let us see that how we can do it so the formula is the same query formula we have to use at where we have selected the data range as from engineering tab from a1 to f and here we we want to display the name of state so we have written select d and we are also we are we are going to do group by so basically here uh, whatever query we specify which is similar to what we use in 
SQL structured query language. So we have support of group by in uh, query function of Google Sheet also. So that is what we are using here. So we group data by D where D is the column for state in our engineering tab. So we group data by D and once we have group by so we have this uh, um, uh, function called count. So we are going to count uh, the number of states uh, which are grouped by, by this query. And once that is done we order all the information by count D. Right. So count D is the number of colleges in that state and we want it in descending order that is we want uh, the highest value at top so we use this descending and we can also specify what label we want so we have to append this label keyword and then we write that for D that is this D we want to have label as a state and for this uh, count D we want to have label as number of colleges and we exclude this header that's in this way we can get data sorted in descending order we can also try out for what happens if i sort instead of ascending let us sort it in uh, instead of descending sort it in ascending order and let us see what we get as you can see data is getting sorted in ascending order let us revert it to descending okay, so in this way we can use query function to analyze data now one new thing we can do in this is we want the names of all the states in ascending order right, so let us write here instead of just unique we write sort we'll see that what it is going to affect so once i write this sort all the names will be sorted in ascending order right and accordingly the count will be reflected and since we have used this uh, column b in other sheet also We have used that here in this uh, selection of the state. So now we'll see that names of all the states will be in ascending order, right? So it becomes very easy to locate a particular state. So in this way, we can also do analysis of NIRF rankings data. Thanks for watching.